All right, construction cronies, welcome to another ceiling video. I hope you guys are liking these ceiling videos, guys. I know you guys have been asking for a while. We have one open space here. It's um, and we got uh, two little ceilings to build in here. We're gonna match that ceiling height, that lower height, and we're gonna come across, put a bulkhead in this entranceway, and we're gonna do this little hallway over there as well. So these are wall clips, okay? So I use stud on my wall clips, and all I'm doing is I'm cutting an inch and a half tabs on either end here. Uh, that one's a little bigger because I'm doubling it up. That's an inch and a half, uh, or yeah, it'd be an inch and a half because I'm gonna go across two studs. But you see where I'm putting in between the, the the studs? So that's for my bulkhead to catch my bulkhead right there. Okay, that's where I'm gonna put my little uh, studs to catch the bottom track. Okay, like that, a quarter inch above the line, and you can see the screws at four, one in each corner. I'm I'm screwing in the top track both sides as well on the top and the bottom. Them, all right but when i put that little stubby stud in there i kept it a quarter inch above my uh, laser line okay checking it all out it's not that long right so i don't need to really check the middle but i i keep it on anyways until the studs are in and i always check to make sure it's nice and level but it's like a bulkhead okay we're going to build a bulkhead here and one on the other side this side here is short and there's iron there so i'm shooting it in with the hilti dx351 with the uh, steel pins but you can see again right a quarter inch above so that i don't have to fight to get my track in okay so we're, there we go bulkheads bulkheads this is kind of an important thing with the ceilings guys you got to make sure you have a full perimeter and if you don't have one you got to put a bulkhead in okay you've seen now this is the second full ceiling we've done we've been putting in lots of bulkheads right um but the same thing okay even in the little ceiling i always put a brace uh bracing run uh as well okay right down the middle and a kicker up okay all that ties it all in makes it super super strong okay you guys the see the little four inch pieces of, of hat track flipped upside down and then i put my my bracing run uh, along the uh, right to the back side of that so it's super strong and then i screw in all my uh ceiling studs you see the track here or the angle one side is bigger than the other so beware of that i like to put the short side to the wall and the longer side out Okay, this gives it just more more meat for um, uh, hitting like uh, the perimeters when you're drywalling the ceiling. Okay, and then there you go. So bracing runs every four feet with the actual kickers um, uh, er, with f within four feet as well, staggered. And I'm screwing in both sides of the of the furring bar. There you see that along the bracing run there, both sides, and I stagger it. Do 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 do. Every single one is screwed in to that bracing run. I call it a bracing run, but the the furring bar that goes across the top for the braces. Okay. I screw it all together. Here's a kicker. Okay, make sure you screw the bottom of the kicker in so that it doesn't move when it's up there. Okay, so you kind of you kind of guess the angle that you want and you screw it in. Two inch offset. So when you get your perimeter done, all the angle around the perimeter, then you drop your laser down two inches so that you can check it, right? You just use clamps and make sure that the ceiling hits two inches so it matches the perimeter, right? Two inches and then you, you just use clamps and you then you screw it in when it's right, okay? It's pretty simple, guys. Uh, and once you get a couple of these in, oh yeah, you'll just be flying on ceilings, dudes. This is my way of doing it without the high, without uh, hanger wire or anything like that. Um, this is a bathroom ceiling, a quick bathroom ceiling. Uh, I've done the bulkheads already for the for those of the like one side's I think a shower and the other's a, like a, a bathroom and where the to toilet is so yeah and then I got one bracing run right down the middle okay and kickers every four feet it's beautiful it's so strong okay and that is five feet wide that bathroom is five feet wide so you can see I got a nice brace down the down the middle okay and then that's just on the outside where the there's like an open area here. There's going to be an elevator and a stairwell down right in the front here where you see that fake stairs. That's not the where the real stairs go. But yeah, bulkhead and then a ceiling and, and I tied it right into the to that lower uh, lower floor joist right there. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a garage here and um, clean up your floor so that your scaffolding will work. You want full access on the floor. Just check this out. All right, so braces have to be within like four feet. So on a big ceiling like this, I'm just gonna find out kind of where what works. So I want them to be able to go up and get like a nice flat surface, right? I don't want them to go in on the back side. So my first one here, let's see here. I come in 40, and then we'll space them for it. Uh, We'll space them four feet apart from there, okay? So I came in 40 on the first. As long as it's within four feet, you're good. And then I'll go four feet and four foot, four foot all the way, right? Okay, because then it'll go up into here. 
uh, the ones upstairs, you can go anywhere within 48. I went like 42, 42, 42. Like, you know, I'll try to split it as evenly as possible. But on these big ceilings, as long as you're every four feet, get it to land nice, you know, like in the middle is good, right? In between joists is good. All right, guys, so first thing you want to do when you've got a ceiling that's bigger than the 12 feet that the, the furring bar comes in is you need to get a center brace um, close to, like, the end of where the 12 foot ends so you get you get one of your bracing runs done and secure and level even okay and then then you have a place to uh to to clamp your your furring bar in and i also draw my 16s on that bracing run okay so what i do is i get it nice and level i, I laser it all in that one bracing run and then i i mark my 16s on that as well and you see this is simple ceiling right bracing runs bracing runs kickers every staggered every four feet right super super strong okay the trick to this ceiling guys is checking all the ducts making sure you've got the lowest point okay and go as tight as you can now you can see when it's time now for us to join like to put the rest in we just measure to the end and we overlap the hat track and screw it in and then all the bracing picks it all up it's so strong like look at all look at it guys it's beautiful, okay? And right there where the duct is, you can see we, we stopped the hat track just before it, and we put a piece of angle between, like a kicker, like a header almost, and then that's how we finished that in. We go went as tight as we could to all the metal. It's all going to be hidden in the end. But, yeah, look at that beauty, guys. This is Chris Conkle. I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you're subscribed to the channel because there's lots more coming, guys. Stay tuned and watch this next video. Access granted.